The president of Central Maine Power says the past year has been a challenge, but he's confident the company is starting to regain public trust. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill, and for Cindy Williams, Doug Hurling took over as president of CMP about 13 months ago, right after the billing problem started. He gave his first TV interview to News Center's Don Carrigan today and says the company is making progress and will be able to win back the confidence of its customers. Over 34 years, Doug Hurling has worked his way from the bottom to the top of Central Maine Power taking on the president's job at what may be the roughest time in company history. We had some challenges for sure, uh, but we've been working very hard to overcome those challenges. Those challenges began in the fall of 2017 with the rollout of the new computer billing system. Hurling says the team responsible thought they were ready. But clearly that was wrong. Hindsight was that we didn't have enough staff and that's why we've worked hard over the past year to add some staff and do some training and add some management oversight. Uh, hindsight is 2020. Hurling says the company has made progress to deal with thousands of late bills, something CMP was blasted for earlier this month by the Public Utilities Commission. About a year ago, we had about a 10,000 uh, delayed bill backlog, and we are down to just under 1,800 right now, and we feel that we're going to be back to uh, no backlog in 45 days. But as continuing public complaints and two investigations show, there are many people who believe their bills were wrong and that they still are. But Doug Hurling says the complaints referred to them by the PUC don't show that. 3,200 customers uh, that complained about their bills uh, about 2,000 of those we were able to resolve and another 1,100 that we were unable to contact. So the rest of those, are they now, have they now been convinced that the bills are correct? Based on the fact that we haven't heard from them, I would assume that to be yes. But if progress is being made on actual bills, CMP appears to still face a major public image problem. 20 years ago, after the great ice storm of 1998, CMP's reputation was as good as it gets. Now it's struggling, but President Doug Hurling says he has confidence he can rebuild public trust. I'm a lifelong Mainer, and it's important for me to lead a company uh, that has the confidence of people. We work hard every day to put this company back to where it was, and we're making great progress, and I think we're going to get there. I am very confident uh, that we're going to get back to where we were and have the confidence of our customers and the people of Maine. Asked how they will know when public trust has been regained, Hurling said, I think we'll know when we get there. In Augusta, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine. Maine public advocate Barry Hobbins says the company still has a long way to go to address the billing problems and the continuing complaints about bills being too high. Hobbins says his office and a consultant are just beginning a detailed investigation of whether billing amounts are accurate. CMP says they are.